morning is a fantastic morning. Why is it so fantastic? Well, the sun is shining and I have new life, but I've also been waiting 32 years for this day. I am on my way to Montana for an elk and mule deer hunt. I have a combination tag in my pocket and an elk permit, uh, archery elk permit that I drew. So absolutely pumped. Um, kind of a long story of how I got to this point. Um, my wife's friend Beth grew up in Montana and uh, us couples were talking to each other one evening and she said that she had a lifelong friend named Joel that uh, enjoys hunting and archery hunting in particular which that's what I absolutely love to do and that he might be willing to take me hunting so you know obviously uh, conversations like that come up time to time and usually nothing ever develops from them but in this particular case I uh, or actually I believe Joel got a hold of me and uh, introduced himself and said that he would uh, love to have me join him for a hunt sometime so that year I actually already had plans to go to Nebraska for a whitetail hunt and then uh, last year um, I drew a whitetail Iowa tag which uh, you probably know is not something that you draw every year so I uh, um, went out bow hunting in Iowa last year and had a blast doing that and shot a nice buck um, but this earlier this year Joel got a hold of me and asked if this was the year and uh, I said absolutely I would love to come out and uh, he's been gracious in uh, answering all of my questions and I absolutely love to plan and I've been planning for a long time I did not document most of my planning um, via video to share with you just because honestly life's been so hectic and crazy with um, a couple moves with houses um, a job that is very demanding and uh, has been uh, very successful this summer but very busy um, and my wife is pregnant and we're expecting a um, new child and just lots of crazy stuff so um, I did a lot of planning spreadsheets uh, counting my pounds and uh, ounces um, for my backpacking trip we're gonna hopefully spend several days out in the mountains uh, hunting and uh, um, I bought you know probably several or I did buy several pieces of gear to add to my pack but I also had a bunch that um, I've accumulated over the past several years but absolutely ecstatic to uh, be on my way I am driving just because I wanted to get the full experience of uh, the hunt and uh, not have to ship my meat and different things like that across the country so uh, I have uh, three coolers in the back of my truck that hopefully will be uh, filled or partially filled here in the next week and I have a bunch of gear in the back seat I don't know if you can see that uh, but absolutely pumped to be on the way and I will try to keep you updated as best as I can. I am not going to be uh, really creating a true you know, cinematic short film probably for this hunt. It's going to be more of a vlog or uh, you know, video diary type solo hunter hunt. So I'm going to predominantly focus on the hunting part of it creating a bunch of memories and I will try to bring you along as much as possible so that you can experience it and uh, uh, share with some of my memories. It is absolutely nasty weather out this morning. I uh, spent the night in Mitchell, South Dakota. I am uh, getting ready to head down, grab some breakfast, but yeah, it is nasty, nasty. I was planning on uh, heading over to Yellowstone and uh, going through there, kind of checking it out, but there's uh, snow and ice storm that came through uh, yet last night and then this morning. So I'm going to just head right to uh, Montana and see how it goes. Um, should get there later this evening. Um, 
I-90 is a long road, in case you're wondering. Um, it is at least one audiobook, a few podcasts, a lot of serious radio, and uh, yeah, it's long. It's long. So I'm enjoying the ride. Um, not a whole lot of scenery between Michigan and South Dakota, but um, I think it'll get a little bit better today. Hopefully the weather clears up a little bit. Got to have a little uh, college game day before the before you hit the road, but yeah, it is uh, it's kind of gross. So there's a Cabela's right there, and uh, not gonna take time to go there because I think I spent enough money there the last month. <laughs> but sit back and enjoy. Today has been a very fun day of driving. Uh, I got a chance to get out of the truck for a little while and. Uh, explore the Badlands. I spent a little more time there than I had anticipated, but very cool. Well, uh, sorry for any wind noise, but uh, I just made a quick little pit stop at the Badlands National Park. Absolutely crazy. It's uh, pretty awesome. God's creation is just amazing. If you've never been to the Badlands, it's basically some very rugged looking uh, hills and small mountains in the middle of the grasslands and uh, lots of wildlife actually. Um, I saw some bighorn sheep. Badlands, I actually needed to stop and get an oil change in Rapid City. Um, I actually bought a new truck uh, the 1st of July and it is the middle of September and I have 7,500 miles on it, so uh, a little bit uh, over on my first oil change. And after Rapid City, I went and I tried to go see Mount Rushmore, but it was solid fog absolutely zero visibility did not get to see that at all um, I uh, yeah that was kind of a bummer but been driving through Wyoming and I have about six hours remaining I just went through Upton Wyoming and uh, saw some mule deer right uh, there's some trailer park mule deer and there's been a lot of uh, antelope along the way and had just uh, obviously some pretty good scenery out here, so I've just been enjoying the views.
gotta watch out for the moo cow pies we are here at the trailhead ready to rock and roll we are going to be heading up uh, trail that way cut in and uh, set up um, about two to three mile hike hopefully in and then uh, set up do some glassing spend the night um, and then get up in the morning do some glassing see what we find we have made it to the top well not quite the top because there's That first climb that we went, you know, pretty straight up that rocked my legs. <laughs> All the rest of it wasn't too bad. Our vehicle is like not those hills over there, but the base of those hills over there. We have seen several mule deer. Small mule deer buck. <clears throat> Otherwise, uh, no elk. On our drive in earlier, we saw two really nice elk. One literally in this valley over here, um, pretty much where we're hunting, and uh, the other one was on the highway. But it uh, definitely is beautiful. But back at the vehicle um, it's technically day two um, we got in last night and uh, hiked up um, I don't think you can really see it but there we hiked up to that point there and then went across and then went uh, up on the other ridge and uh, saw quite a few elk down in the valley um, on the private land side so um, they were bugling a little bit this morning but really we only saw um, two elk on public land we didn't have a spotting scope with us last night but the one was a uh, cow for sure the other one not positive but uh, all in all a nice hike and um, spent the night out in the mountain and everything went well and absolutely gorgeous country so we're going to move to a new spot, see if we can get on some elk, and um, see what happens. Alright, afternoon, uh, day one, full day 
day one we are at a new spot um, the other spot had a little bit uh, too much pressure from other hunters and uh, didn't see any elk. Well, I saw two elk that were on public land. The rest were on private land. So we're going to go back um, up in this area, up in here, see if we can get on some elk. This is uh, basically the back side of the mountains that we were on last night and this morning. So we'll uh, see what we can find. Got any words of wisdom, Joel? Just hunt hard and <laughs> go at them. <laughs> All right, sounds good. And we are not climbing up to that peak right there. I'm making the executive decision right now. <laughs> Plus it's private property, right?
choose to come down, but hopefully uh, they start moving here soon. We have about 35 minutes of shooting light left. So, I got my bow ready. Locked in. One of the best things about archery hunting is that it is such a challenge. One of the most frustrating things about archery hunting is that it is such a challenge, and that most days you go home empty-handed. This trip will forever be a fantastic memory of mine, but my family won't be eating elk meat this year. Until next time, Montana, you did not disappoint.